Hi there, it's Shell. And today we are going to do another paper clip project. <laughs> Had to think about that. And here, what I decided to do for this one is I am just using a um, manila folder. And I'm going to use the part that is folded. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and cut this down to about two inches. So I'm going to go over here to my paper cutter, if I can get over here to it. And I just want to make sure that it's kind of good size. I'm going to go ahead, let's try two and a half instead, and I can always come back. So and that's what I want, and we're going to make our paper clips out of this. So I don't know what that was. <laughs> Oh, you guys, I tell you, if you saw my house, you'd like freak. It's such a mess right now. Okay, so now I want to go ahead and I'm going to cut this down. Let's see, we did two and a half by, I think I'm going to do two inches. And I'm just going to cut this whole thing down to two inches. So, let's see if I can do this without cutting my cat's tail off. So we'll have a two and a half folded one like this. And that's going to be our paper clip right there. So I'm going to, like I said, just cut down this fold. A lot of times when I am using paper clips for my manila folders, I cut the fold off and I throw it away. But I was thinking I really wanted a folded paper clip this time and you know how best to come up with that and I was thinking of a manila folder <laughs> uh. so I think we're kind of killing two birds with one stone so I'm not going to you know worry too much about that and then I have one that's a little bit smaller but I still think it will work so, let's see what else we can do. And this is inspired by Pinterest. And, you know, I have no idea if they folded the, you know, if it was actual folded paper or not. It just came to me. And, you know, it may be exactly like how they did it. And it may be totally different than how they did it. And, of course, I forgot my scratch paper, scrap papers. I don't have anything near here. So, let me go grab those. Oh, here's something over here. Actually, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> let's see what we have. <laughs> So that's kind of cute. I might be able to. All I need is just a little tiny piece of scrap paper. So I have some green. I have that one. Um, if there's anything else in here. When I kind of clean up my messes, I just kind of throw them in one, one little box. And kind of go through that. And this. So we have some scrap paper. And then I put that back in my craft room. <laughs> okay, so now what I want to do is I just want to do like a one, let's just do a one inch by one inch square. <coughs> I can move all this stuff over here. I have so much stuff piled in front of my... Um, front of my stuff, front of my uh, thing, whatever it's called. Okay, so one inch by one inch. Sorry about my arm. <laughs> so, just kind of do that, and then I'll just cut it with my scissors. So, I'm just going to go ahead and cut these down to about one inch by one inch. 
and I just want one for every um, paper clip that I'm going to do. So, got those. There's three there. Let's see what I have. One, two, three. I have six, it looks like. So, I think I'm going to use this. This is one of those Tim Holtz. Um, I think it's like a little card thing. I forget what it's called, but I'm just going to go ahead and cut that down. Because I think it'll look really cute on these. And I have one of those big, you know, um, cutters, so like the smaller one inch by one inch, just easier to do by hand. So I'm going to do that. Okay, and I only need the six of them. So now, <clears throat> I'm just going to go ahead and fold these. So, when I am done with this, it's going to look like um, a little fall folder. So, I'm going to do that. I do have my little um, my corner chomper, and I'm just going to put this in, because I do want a little bit of a curve on these guys. So, like that. So, it kind of looks more like... Um, a little file folder. This paper kind of ripped, but you know how I am, that doesn't bother me. Because <laughs> I can cover it up with some distress ink. So we're just going to fold each one of these in half. And then we will do our little corner chomper. And it doesn't have to be perfectly in half, but you know, somewhat like that. So you don't need a lot of paper for these. And then I'll corner chomp them all. Oops. <laughs> and, you know, again, I'm just doing the quarter inch just because they're so tiny. And so that's when I do the corner inch. Um, side because there's a half inch here and a quarter inch and somebody you know wants to ask me what you know when do you know which to use whether a quarter inch or a half inch and I know I feel like when it's smaller I want to use the quarter inch and when it's larger I want to use the half so that's kind of my rule of thumb so again some of these cracked but I'm not going to let that bother me because, you know, they're junk journals. Things don't have to be perfect, guys. Okay. And then we'll just kind of play and see what we can come up with. I just kind of wanted to show you, you know, my idea. And some of you guys, I mean, <laughs> I think, you know, the puzzle pieces were so really appreciated. I think people really liked those. And I think this is a fun thing to, <clears throat> to add, you know. So what I'm doing now is I'm going to go ahead and just distress around the, my, um, my little paper clip pieces, these, these little folders, because essentially that's what these will look like, is little tiny folders. So, that's what I'm, that's my plan anyways. But, you know, if you wanted to save the, the cutout or the um, fold, you could definitely do it like this. And I think that's really a cute idea. And, you know, cut out your little pieces first. And then, you know, you have little folders. You can turn into either tuck spots or paper clips. 
but you're not throwing away that fold either because like I said a lot of times I will throw away my fold <coughs> so then we're going to glue on this little piece and so when it's closed it's gonna look like a little tiny folder isn't that cute so if you wanted to you could come in here and put coffee dyed paper I don't think I'm gonna worry about that this time because you know you can go ahead and write on you know the manila folder I am using some art glitter glue and as always I do have that linked below on Amazon if you're looking for some and then I am just going to glue those in and that's essentially our little paper clip and this one it does have a little bit of an issue there so I think I'm just gonna cut out some of my coffee dyed paper just to cover that up because I do want these to be it's really hairy <laughs> I do want these to be able to, you know, journal on. So I'm just going to kind of trim around this piece. And then I'm just going to trim it here and here so that it kind of fits in without, you know, too much overage or anything like that. It's not a perfect um, matchup, but it's fine. And then when I'm done, you know, they can still write on here. in our little piece. And I'm just pretty much doing all of these pretty much the same. You know, just so that they, like I said, I won't put the same ones in the, um, in the same book. And it's just fun to, you know, to kind of use what you have and to be creative using what you have. So we are drawing close to the end of our paper clip series and I am planning what our next series is going to be. I want to do at least one more ephemera series whether it's pockets or tags. So let me know what your preference would be whether you want to see pocket, pockets or tags and and then maybe we'll move on to like uh, making a full junk journal using some of the items that we have used. So I just am kind of lining this up and because it's got writing on it I just want to use the writing in the correct way so that we're gonna see you know. So that looks good. Nothing to cover up there. Nothing to cover up here. But yeah let me know out of 
tags, pockets, for a an actual junk journal start to finish. Let me know what your preference would be, and then we'll kind of go from there. Oops. I'm just flipping that around because the wordings were upside down. And it's hard to see even with my glasses on. <laughs> They're so tiny. But look how cute that is. Isn't that adorable? Okay, so that is that part. So now we're pretty much at the decorative stage and we're just going to kind of play around and decorate and see what we can come up with. Now one idea my husband had is if you look back on my channel and you look for um, washi tape card, it's actually one of my most popular videos out there. And so I'm going to kind of just try to recreate that on one of these cards and or yeah one of these folders and what I did is I went and pulled out my teeniest tiniest um, washi tape and I'm just going to choose like four different colors like I don't want the orange because I think that would be too bright and they're just only like a quarter of an inch thick those two are too similar so let's go with these four <clears throat> and I'm going to try to recreate it. I had to look at it earlier just to remind myself what I was doing and I think I have it down. So, But this is an awesome idea to use up your You okay? Sorry, one of the cats fell out, out of the window <laughs> and then daddy's clawed him. But we're just going to kind of do a V here. Let's kind of start here. And I'm just going to put down some art glitter glue because I want them to stay down. I don't want, you know, anything to come back and <clears throat> start coming apart or anything like that. And I'm just going to rip it and then when I'm done, I will um, trim around the whole thing. So now I am going to use this one and if I can find the end. But I thought this was a cute idea and when my husband says, oh do that, and I was thinking, oh I have all those real tiny, tiny washi tapes and I'm not sure where I got them. I think my sister gave them to me. But I do want to cut a straight strip across. And you could do this with paper. You don't have to do washi. You know, you can just do it with it, whatever you want to do. You could use fabric if you wanted to, but I think paper scraps would work as well. So now you're going to just kind of butt up your washi tape to this next piece right here. And we're going to stretch that out. See how it's kind of butted up almost perfectly right there. So you just want to, you know, take a little bit of time and kind of do that. And you know, I really think it's a fun little thing to do. You could do this, you know, on cards or whatever. That's what I I did to start with. But you know, if you're watching TV and you just want to make a whole bunch of these, this would be a fun time to do them. Yeah. So, let's see, these cute little parts here, and I'm just going to put them down, and I'm going to do the same thing again, leaving enough room for my, for my next piece of tape. So, like, I'm going to just go in about like that. So when I bring my next piece of tape down, 
it will line up. And it might even be easier to go ahead and bring your tape down on this side. I'm trying to kind of remember how I did it before and what. It's been a couple of years, I think. Okay, so I'm just going to do this side. And you just want to take your time, line it up. And it's a little bit off, but that's okay. And then just do it like that. And that's kind of turning out pretty cute. So let's go back to the green one. Trim it off. And then I'm going to put it right here. And I think this will be easier, kind of lining it up with the edge of that tape there. And I kind of overlapped it so it would kind of work out the way I want it to at the end. So, and then go to our yellow, which we'll trim. Once you kind of get it started, it really doesn't take that long. And then this one will come all the way down here. Then I'm just kind of pulling it into place right there, like that. And then pull that, a little heart. But I don't want this to be upside down, so I'm going to pull it so it's right side up. And then I will just kind of put a little bit of glue here. And then put it like that. And then we have, which one is this one? on this other side. And put him right here. So it's really just a fun little thing to do. And like I said, you could use scraps of paper, you know, whatever you wanted to do. So now we're kind of done with lining it up. If I wanted to, I could kind of pull these off and then we can trim it like this at the fold. But we want to go ahead and continue down. So I'm going to go back to my green because that was my first color. And we're going to go back over here for our ring. Hold on, let me think. <laughs> green, yellow, heart. Green, yellow, heart. Green. Okay, so green's going to go right here. This time you don't have to trim it or anything. You're just going to put a little piece straight down. And kind of. So we'll trim it when we get done with it. the yellow piece over here. Oh, it's raining. Mm -hmm. So it's been raining on and off all day. One time it was really sunny out there and it looked really pretty and now it's raining. So <laughs> Then we'll do our little hearts right here. And then our little wave over here. And then we'll do, let's see, after the wave is green. So we're going to do green right here. And there's just an itty bitty piece right there. So I'm just going to cut off a little tiny piece. Put that 
right there. And then we'll put yellow on the other side. And then I'm just going to just go along and trim it all the way around. And we'll have a really nice um, finished pro product with the washi tape. Isn't that pretty? So, I think that was kind of fun. And then, what I did in the past is I had a little tiny butterfly. And I found these little stickers. And I have a little teeny butterfly. And I'm going to go ahead and just pop him on here. Because he is really cute. And it happens to be yellow. Which kind of goes really nicely with this. And let me grab a pen, and I'll kind of draw just a little bit of like a little flight line, and I'll be right back. Okay, and I'm just using a little micron pen, and I just want a little flight line. And when I draw my little flight lines, I kind of like them to be like in a circle, kind of like they go in, you know how butterflies are, they kind of go however... Kind of like they came out of the center of the washi tape. So, that one's done. And then to finish this one up, I am just going to throw on... The washi tape stuck to my elbow. Oh, don't ask. <laughs> so, I have these really bright paper clips. And these are the smaller ones. And I just want to choose one, like, let's choose the purple one, and we'll pop that here. And I just thought that was such a cute idea. So, let's go ahead and kind of work on a few of the other ones. I probably won't do a whole lot, you know, on each of these on camera. Maybe I will, you know, step away and do a few of them. But I just wanted to kind of give you guys an idea of you know how to decorate them and things like that because I think they're just such a fun little uh, fun little things but this one I think I'm just going to use some washi tape and this was more similar to what the person who put this on um, Pinterest did so I'm just going to grab some different pieces of washi tape and just kind of set them out, you know, here and there in different areas. Like that. And maybe we'll do another one right here. Let's do this kind of pink one. But when I'm doing this, I'm not really, you know, I don't care if there's straight edges or anything. I'm just kind of putting it wherever. I want it to go and then I can always trim it or leave it whatever I want to do so, like that and then it's kind of showing over going over the edge a little bit and then I, I want some on this side as well going up and down so I'm just gonna put my glue and do kind of the same one Kind of pop them on there. I really like this heart one. I think that one is really sweet. So pop that one there. And then let's just use a yellow one because kind of change it up a little bit. This one here. We'll trim it. And I think that's cute. It's got way too much open space for me. So now I am just going to kind of 
look to my left over here in this mess <laughs> and see what else I can add. You know, I have some little tiny pieces of lace. Let's go ahead and kind of darken it because maybe even over the washi tape, kind of bring it down so it looks more junk journal-y looking. Let's color our lace. Then I'll just put maybe a piece here. Kind of make it a little bit thicker in blue. That's kind of cute. Okay, and then let's see what else we have. This is a good thing now to kind of use up any you know scraps that you kind of have left over like here's some fabric so let's put some of that here because I think that's kind of fun and you know kind of make a more like a junk journal-y looking like that um, Definitely some more music paper. So let me just kind of tear some of that stuff down. And we'll just stick a piece of that on there. Maybe like right there. And it doesn't bother me that it kind of layers. I just kind of like that anyways. And then I do have some more of these little butterflies. Maybe a butterfly on there might be kind of fun. Just to kind of bring it all together. And I have a focal point. These are just some... Um, they they're kind of like a cushy butterfly. Probably picked them up at either... Walmart or Hobby Lobby and we're gonna call that one done that's how simple these little guys are uh, let's use a red one because the little hearts have red in it and that one's done that was easy enough here's just a little one so that's the one that I had left over you know after I cut all my other ones down to the size I wanted so let's just go ahead and add some music paper to this. I think that will work. Like that. That's kind of cute. And I'm going to throw in some of these little pieces of washi that I cut off. And they were over here on the other side. <laughs> Sticking to me in different places. My arm and stuff. And that will kind of give us a little bit um, decoration without, you know, having to do a whole lot. And what else do we want to do? Do we want a... Ooh, look what I still have out here. This is some really pretty washi tape. I think I'm going to take this little butterfly right here and kind of cut him out. This one's really nice and sticky. Double up on some glue there just to make sure it stays. 
And, you know, you don't have to spend a lot of time on these. Let's do a yellow paper clip. Because we have a little bit of yellow in our butterfly. So we already got three done. Let's do three more. How fast? See how fast we can get those done. Let me kind of pull this off here. And I want to add just a little bit of something. kind of wherever we want to set it. Let's go ahead and glue down our fabric. Okay. That's kind of cute. Just simple. You know, it doesn't have to be really big and bright and cheerful. Here's another piece of lace over here to the side. Go ahead kind of bring that back just a little bit. Put it right here in this corner. Okay, see where I'm going with this? <laughs> I think I said that last time. You know, I never really have a plan. Well, for the most part. Ooh, why don't we put a little Tim Holtz girl. This is a Tim Holtz paper doll. So really, I'm just, right now, I'm just kind of collaging on whatever I want to, you know. I think that's a cute, cute little thing. And, you know, sometimes it's fun. You just want to just kind of have fun without thinking too hard. You know what I mean? So let's kind of do that. Let's see. I need something else. You know what I need is a Tim Holtz word. Of course you do, Michelle. I can hear you guys yelling that now. <laughs> I'm kidding. I really can't hear you. So, Daddy, can you hand me that one right there? Thank you. I know, I'm a weirdo. You guys have told me that. Not really in those things. You guys are nice about it. <laughs> uh, my husband will say it, but... <laughs> let's see, let's do... How about be fearless? Because, you know, I think we all need that reminder. And we'll put that here. Thank you guys for not telling me how weird I am. I hear enough of that at home. <laughs> I'm kidding. I have a pretty good husband. He doesn't tell me that too much. He's pretty good. And of course we have this little tiny butterfly who's all sad. So we're going to pop it on. Because I feel like it just needs something. I'm going to put him upside down because... I don't know, just because. And how cute is that? That is just cute. See, you guys were right. It did need a little word. I'm going to put red to kind of tie in the um, material down here. So, let's see if it's going to stick to my place. Sorry. I don't know if I stuck enough glue there, but we can come back to that. We have two more. And I'm having fun. Are you guys having fun with me? Yay, Michelle. <laughs> Sometimes I make my cats dance with me. Something you didn't know about me. 
<laughs> Daddy said something you guys didn't need to know. <laughs> Mainly I make Lily May. She always sits in my lap and she, um, when she's bugging me or something, I make her dance. And then she'll leave. <laughs> something you didn't know you needed to know about me and you really didn't. not like I dance around the house with her. Just saying. Okay, so I kind of like the stamp. I'm going to go back and visit some of my washi tape. Here's kind of an orange one. I'm to do that. Hey, I have fun. When my sister and I are out like at a casino or something, we don't go very often, but, you know, we get everybody involved in whatever we're doing because, you know, you may as well have fun. And she's really a nut. You think I'm bad, you should see her. <laughs> he said, that woman's beyond nuts. <laughs> And he would be correct. And she doesn't really watch my videos too often, so, you know, I can talk about her. <laughs> She'll never know. She doesn't have time to watch my videos. She's got too much going on. <laughs> I think I'm going to put this stamp here. I think that would be kind of cute. Okay, that's cute. My battery is dying again. You know, my battery, I've noticed, has, as soon as I start plugging it in and start recording, it just sucks that battery. And it could be 100%. And, I mean, it hasn't been that long, what, 40 minutes or so? So... My husband set me up here. So let me plug it in. I'll be right back. Okay, got it plugged in. Yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and just kind of darken this up. Because I'm not going to put something on all the way around. I'm just going to put this on here, I think, and kind of call it good. Though I kind of feel like I need something here. It seems almost too empty. I said I wasn't going to do that, didn't I? Lace. Lace. Hey, I have lace. Let's just put a little piece here. Going to kind of put it like that, I think. So, it seems like we have skunks living under our house again. We have them pretty much every spring, but sometimes, you know, just constantly. And there's one under there that keeps spraying under the house. So, we need to try to trap that. We always have so much fun here, guys. <laughs> That's kind of cute. I think I'm going to leave it like that. And do I want... You know what? Let's go with the green. Green, and we'll see what we have here. It kind of looks cute. kind of brings in the green from the stamp. Okay, and our last one, because that's all I had. And then we will put our paper clips on the back and we'll be done. So I have some more Tim Holtz Little Girls. I'm just going to use those. Use some distress ink. glitter glue Put that down I 
like to go around all the edges whenever I'm doing using these Tim Holtz dolls. It kind of takes away the white and kind of makes it look more vintage instead of so new. <coughs> so I think I'm going to put them. How cute are they? They are so cute. Um, I feel like I need some color though. So let's see. I do have this green that I was going to use earlier. So let me kind of put some of this here. And I'm tearing it so that I kind of have a white border on the piece I want to keep. And then I'm just going to put some ink around it. And that will give me a little bit more of an area to kind of ink up. And I put that here. You know, I always plan on a fairly short video, and then I look, and it's been really, really long. <laughs> we know, Michelle. <laughs> you guys know I love you. Just you make me make my day with all of your sweet comments. Okay, so I really want. A word on here or a saying so maybe I will just put something here <clears throat> and we'll see what let's do this one this one's cute it actually says I love us and you know I think that'll work for little sisters I think that's really sweet <coughs> there and this one is screaming for a green paper clip okay so now of course I'm going to show you guys how I put the paper clips on the back just in case we have new subbies and um, better subscribers because um, Sorry, somebody asked me what a subby was. <laughs> That's a subscriber. And, you know, I'm getting new ones every day. And so I just want to show this. That way, if they were looking for this, they don't have to go too far to look for, you know, <clears throat> how to do this. I just want to make it simple for whoever is, you know, watching. So I'm just going to cut a few of these out. I'll just kind of guesstimate. And we'll see how that works. So I'm going to use my white paper clips. And what I do is I just cut out a piece of cardstock or manila folder. And I just want it to be on the back. I don't want any of it to show on the front. So I cut it down so it's inside the backing. And then I put my paper clip on and whatever side is the small side, that's the one I'm going to glue down. So I'm just going to put some glue. You could certainly use hot glue here, but again, I forgot to plug in my hot glue gun. And I have found that dark glitter glue works really well so you want to make sure you're doing it up the correct way up and down and then I'm just going to hold this for a second just to give it a little bit of time to attach and there's that one we had a green paper clip on there isn't that cute? Look how sweet that is. And then you can just pull off your paper clip and do some journaling in there. Put it back. And put your paper clip back and then you can add it back into your journal. I think that is really sweet. 
And I thought these were such cute little ideas. So again, I'm just going to pop my paper clip on wherever the mall site is. That's going to be sandwiched in between the... Sorry. The... Um, what's that called? Vanilla folder and the glue. And then I want to make sure I'm doing it right side up. And we're going to just hold that down for just a second, just to give it a little bit of a chance to attach. i got glue all over my fingers, so <laughs> every time I rub, it pulls off my finger. And then we're going to reattach our paper clip. And there's that one, which I think is really cute as well. Go to this one, remove my paper clip, grab a paper clip over here to the side, and when I'm doing this I always make sure that I put glue on the paper clip because I think that's important to make sure that it stays in there and doesn't like pop out or anything. I know I'm supposed to probably get something from Amazon either today or tomorrow, so just kind of looking out the window to see if anything's on that's hanging at the end of the road. But I didn't see anything. So I know. Yeah. They used to bring it right up to the house, but you know, now that there's been all the things, but you know, when you don't feel good and you order stuff, you don't want to have to walk a lot. Sometimes you just can't. And, you know, my husband's got that fibromyalgia and I have leg issues and stuff. And, you know, sometimes it's nice if it would just be delivered to the house. Yeah, last time we ordered um, cat food and cat litter and it was all the way down at the road. Well, you know, you still have to lug it up to the house, and that's really tough on old people. <laughs> it was pretty tough on us because there was a lot of snow out there. I mean, there was like two foot of snow we were trudging through. So, <clears throat> put this one back on. How cute are these? These are adorable. This cute tiny yellow one. That's cute. I'm going to have to cut this down anyway, so I thought I would Yeah, and then one time he <laughs> delivered it, you know, to the lady across the street. And he delivered to us that day as well, so I don't know why he gave her our package without checking but at least we didn't have to go without it was just kind of annoying and she's I think in her 70s late 60s early 70s or something bless her heart she brought it over to our house you know instead of waiting for us to come get it she's so, such a sweet lady and she wanted to make sure we had it, so. <laughs> so that's my beef with the UPS man. <laughs> I don't know. This one is super cute. What do you guys think of that? Is that sweet or what? You'll have to let me know which one is your favorite. Because I really like to hear, you know, which one you prefer. Sometimes it's the same one I like and sometimes it's not. But, you know, it's kind of fun to hear you know what you guys think and if you agree with me that that's your least favorite and I'll set them all out for you here in just a second so you can tell me which is your favorite this is 
our last one. But, you know, I think what you have to do is, you know, maybe think, you know, is, which one is more junk journaling? Which one would you use maybe on a card? Or which one would you throw in happy mail? Something like that, maybe to, you know, understand the, um, figure out which one's your favorite, I guess. You know, like I love this one. I think that one's really sweet. I like this one, but I'm thinking it might need something later, maybe a another Tim Holtz doll or something, as well as this one. They're almost too plain to me, but this one I think is so sweet. How cute is that one? So you'll have to let me know which one is your favorite, and if you try this, of course, I want to see what you're doing. Uh, I do have a Facebook page. It's from my old business, so it's still called Little Acres Creations, but I want to change it to a more junk journaling name, so if you have any suggestions, leave a comment below. I would love to hear, you know, maybe what, um, what you would name your Facebook page or what you think I should name mine. So thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure and hit that subscribe button. Uh, I am going to continue this series for two more days. So it will go through Saturday and Sunday just because I have two more heads. <laughs> two more ideas <laughs> stuck in my head. <laughs> but I don't have enough to go for another week. But, um, yeah, so be sure and subscribe. Hit that bell. Give this video a thumbs up. And we will see you in the next video. You guys have a wonderful day. Mm -hmm.